So you've got a job, you've got some money, some moolah, some dough, and you know how to budget it. But now you wanna figure out how do you build a sneaker collection from scratch? In this video, I'll give you five tips for that. Tune in! Hey guys, welcome to Casa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. The topic you've all been waiting for, five tips to building a sneaker collection from scratch. So tip number one, buy what you like. I refer to this as the golden rule. Buy what you like. Don't buy things because I told you to, because your brother told you to, because your friend's girlfriend's mama told you to. Make sure you buy what you like. Look, fashion and wearing sneakers is all about confidence. You want to buy what you like and that you're confident that you like. Because if you don't like what you're wearing, then it's a waste of time and also it's a waste of money. Make sure you buy what you like. Make sure that the sneakers are affordable. You don't want to go off buying expensive sneakers that are $400, $500, $600, $1K dollars expensive because that is totally unnecessary and you may regret buying those sneakers in the future. You want to start off buying sneakers that are affordable. Make sure that you like the sneakers, you adore the sneakers, and they're sneakers that you will not feel bad about buying the next day. You want to amass a collection of sneakers. Guys, go slow, go steady when buying sneakers. What I mean by that is don't buy into the hype of sneakers. Don't go off and buy a thousand dollar Hender Scheme sneaker and not even like it in the first place because you thought everyone else thought it was cool. Make sure that you buy affordable sneakers. Stick to the clearance rack. You could always get good sneakers for a really good price. Right now, nowadays, Jordans are sitting all over the place and in addition to that, you can apply promo codes. You can see them on sale at the sneaker boutiques and stores. So make sure you go after affordable sneakers to start your sneaker collection. Another good key point that goes with tip number two is to try to go after general releases. Yeah, everybody might have them, but make sure that you follow the golden rule. Make sure that you like that sneaker and then you could amass sneakers over time by buying the sneakers that you like that are affordable. Another good sneaker tip is to make sure that there's variation, people. You don't want to buy the same sneaker over and over and over and over again. Over and over and over. If you love them, if you like them, if you adore them, that's different. But if you keep buying the same sneaker over and over and over again, you know, you're going to not like the collection that you have a few years down the road, a few months down the road. So make sure you're always, you're always, always, always buying different types of sneakers, be it runners, be it basketball shoes, be it Jordans, be it Nikes, be it Adidas, Saucony, et cetera, et cetera. Make sure there's variation because that way you could change things up with your style. I know everybody likes the Nikes, the Jordans, the Yeezys, but try to, you know, treat sneakers like they're a buffet. All you can eat, all you can eat. All right, when you're ready, take this plate over. Please, don't take the steam tray. Try to pick at every single different type of sneaker so that you figure out what you truly like and adore because that way you'll be able to grow your sneaker collection over time. Make sure you're trying Saucony. Make sure you're trying Puma. Make sure you're trying Asics. Make sure you're trying Vans, etc., etc. The sneaker collections aren't about the LeBron nines. They're not all about the Jordan 13s, etc., etc. Make sure that you try all sorts of sneakers when you're trying to amass a sneaker collection. Tip number four, make sure that you amass some beater sneakers. Guys, 
If you're going to the mountaintop in a muddy terrain, you're not going to wear your Air Jordan Chicago ones up that terrain. No, no, no. You're going to wear some beater sneakers. What I mean by beater sneakers are sneakers that you wear on the regular basis when you're not going to anywhere flashy or important. An example of this is exhibit number one, a beater sneaker. These are my old, old loves, you know? These things are beat to YouTube, I can't say it. So what should I say? Oh, H-E-L-L. -L. They're beat to H-E-L-L. -L. Yeah, so you wanna make sure that you're going to have a pair of beater sneakers that you wear on a regular basis. You know, these, I've been wearing these for a long time. I use them for exercise. I use them for camping, etc., etc. Make sure that you have a pair of beater sneakers, people. Very important to keep your current you know stock of sneakers that you wear for you know great occasions in good condition and last but not least aim or lean towards buying quality sneakers over quantity of sneakers that is try not to go ham and buy every single sneaker every single weekend that's a waste of money and that's poor money management so what should you do buy sneakers that you like the golden rule and buy sneakers that are of good quality and over time you'll learn what good quality sneakers is be it leather be it you know the uh, material used on the sneaker, so on and so forth. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let me know down below if there's some hacks or any strategies you guys use for starting a sneaker collection. And let's talk about it. I appreciate all of you guys. Deuces.